the mind is like a piece of wood or sponge when it comes in contact with vishaya or the objects of sensual gratification the objects of mental gratification it slowly starts to absorb them when it comes to a newborn everything in his mind is like a sponge so they are constantly absorbing information from the surroundings this information can be intellectual things which are stored as knowledge or memory or these could be behavior patterns example what food is fed to the child that's the way his palate develops for the rest of his life so there are conducts and there are knowledge when you are chanting in front of a child he will automatically remember the chant when you speak seven languages to a child he will automatically learn to talk in those languages just like the nature of a sponge so a child has a mind like a sponge that immensely swells up with all this volume of information whether the information is a uh, knowledge as in books or behavior patterns based on what he's conditioned around by his parents with food water clothing the behavior patterns of the parents that it will constantly be exposed to and will be replicating in its own life now think of a mind of a grown man that mind has become a little hardened that mind instead of the softness of the sponge that can soak a lot of information has become a little hardened so the ability to absorb more information whether the information might be knowledge or that information may be conduct behaviors has gone down think of it as a piece of dry wood or a dormant seed this one will also absorb the water or the information that it is surrounded with but very slowly and also just like the mind of a child where the neuroplasticity is very high or the ability to mold the neurons as they are growing is high the neuroplasticity has gone down in a old mature brain hence children can rapidly change their behaviors whereas elderly who have stored those behaviors for decades are not able to do so just like a piece of wood or a seed once it has swollen up you cannot shrink it back by pressing it however a sponge you can get rid of all the water by compressing it so remember that our minds begin as sponges and harden as wood in both the cases they have the ability to imbibe soak in the information although the rate of soaking in information is higher in the kids and slower in the adults in the adults it is more like the wood whereas in a child it is more like a dry sponge and in the same way ability to uh, get rid of the past information conduct behavior patterns is easier in the kids because there are not many printed samskaras or subconscious proclivities whereas an elderly person has years of information that have been sitting there sinking deep in the subconscious as the samskaras hence stronger conscious sankalp intention will be needed through repeated rigorous practice of those new intentions to erase the past intentions and all this information whether it is information about professional upbringing knowledge as we call it in the schools or behavior patterns which is how they sleep eat drink how many times they eat and drink how much do they consume as food what other behavior patterns they have whether they play video games or they are reading books whether they are going out in the garden and doing stuff or just sitting in the uh, in the living room and eating potato chips those behavior patterns are also found very early in life and similarly the taste buds will develop in the child 
in a, as a sponge so very important to get rid of the bad behaviors while the sponge is soaking in because at that time it's easier and not when you are in an adult phase where you are a hard wood and hence the imbibition of water has happened it has swollen up enormously but you cannot squeeze out those bad behaviors now it just takes lot of time to erase those uh, behaviors because they have sunk in our subconscious as deep samskaras so remember my friend the job of the mind is to soak in information it will take all the time in the world to soak in but it will remain there unless you make active efforts through the conscious mind or sankalp intention to erase those behaviors which will become harder and harder as you grow older so make sure that what you bring in contact with the mind what we call vishaya the vishayas are the ones that will lead to ascent of your spiritual pathway through the path of gyan yog through the path of karm yog through the path of bhakti yog and the path of dhyan yog when we do this then we will finally attain the gyan yoga or the knowledge whether you use the path of surrender through bhakti service through karma or meditation introspection through dhyana you will attain the knowledge and that is the good knowledge that we are talking about that the mind should be constantly relentlessly pursuing and once it has attained that it will be able to merge its particle or the drop of the ocean back into the ocean hope you like this lecture please feel free to leave your comments below jai shri ram